Hello friends, welcome to this video. We studied about the surface area of cylinder in the previous video. Today, in this video, we will see interesting examples based on this. Have you read the news of a plastic ban in newspapers these days? Yes, Thomas. I have been seeing since many days that people are still using straws made of plastic in the school canteen. Why don't we make paper straws together and give those straws to the school canteen? With this, we will also be able to help a little in controlling pollution. That is a very good suggestion. We should make 100 straws. But how much paper will we need to make these straws? This is a math question. Thomas, that means it's math time. It's math time. Look, Manas, I have drawn a straw here. This straw is in the shape of a hollow cylinder, the top and bottom of which are not present. That's right. This means that to find out how much rectangular paper we need to make a straw, we have to find the curved surface area of a straw. Friends, if the diameter of the straw is 1 cm and the height is 14 cm, then can you find out the area of the paper used to make it by finding the curved surface area of this cylindrical straw. Pause the video to try yourself and then match your answer. The straw is cylindrical in shape, whose diameter is 1 cm and height is 14 cm. And as we write in a math formula book, the curved surface area of the cylinder is equal to 2 pi r h, where r and h are the radius and height of the cylinder respectively. But 2 times the radius is equal to the diameter. So now, to find the curved surface area of the straw, we just have to write its diameter and height here. Look, the curved surface area of a straw is 44 square centimeters and we have to make 100 such straws. This means that the area of the paper we need will be the curved surface area of a straw multiplied by 100. We need 44 times 100 or 4400 square centimeters of paper. Well, it means if the width of our paper is 11 centimeters and the area is 4400 square centimeters, then the length of the paper will be 4400 divided by 11. That is 400 centimeters. Yes, now let's quickly return and buy this paper. The two friends bought that paper and made a hundred paper straws using it. With this example, we have seen how our daily life problems can be solved based on the surface area of the cylinder.